friends at home. So I am just sitting here working on this religion review. I started the video and then the camera stopped working. So I'm going to start over. Um, I'm on page 171 and this is the review for a religion test that you'll be taking tomorrow. So on the top of 171 it says circle yes if the action is right and circle no if the action is wrong. So the first two I've gotten done here so we can kind of go over them. Number one says Judy plays fair. And I decided that playing fair, that is a right action. That's what we should do. So I circled yes. And number two said someone calls Ella names. And I decided that that, that is not a kind action. That is not um, a right choice. That's a wrong choice. So I circled no. So now let's together um, look at number three. And you can go ahead and circle yes and no for those ones. Number three says Drew makes peace with Joey. So obviously they must have gotten into a fight about something. And then Drew went and made peace with him. Is that a right action or a wrong action? Yeah, that's a right action. We should always try to make peace when we make mistakes. That's the way to get closer and closer to God. When we ask forgiveness and when we show forgiveness, that strengthens our relationship with God. Number four says someone hits you. Is that a right action or a wrong action? That's a big no. That's a big wrong action. Good job. Okay, down here um, at part B, we're going to look at the pictures, and it says draw a line to match each picture to the words. So this first one, um, we have this little boy who looks like he's um, maybe praying. Here we have a little girl, looks like she broke um, something, and she's telling her mom about it. And then here we have a boy that looks pretty sad. Um, looks like he broke the window, and his dad's telling him it's okay. So our words here say, I'm sorry, Mom. Which one of these looks like it would be, I'm sorry, Mom? Yeah, the middle one where she broke the plate and she's telling her mom she's sorry. So I'll put a circle here and a circle there. I'm sorry, Mom, goes to the mom. And then I'll connect my circles. This one here says, I forgive you. So which one of these two do we think shows forgiveness? I definitely think it's the dad. I think the boy is telling his dad, I'm so sorry, dad. I broke the window and his dad's saying, I forgive you. I know you didn't mean to do it. So I put triangles there and I'll connect my triangles. And that means this last one is kind of a gimme, but let's make sure it says, Lord, have mercy. And it looks like the boy here is asking God to have mercy. So I'm going to put a square around those two and connect my squares. Remember, I draw the shapes on them. That way it's easier so I don't... Um, a lot of times, especially in our tests, when we're trying to connect the sentences, when we're drawing the lines, we get confused. So if you draw the shapes, then you're sure to connect the right ones. Okay? So when you're done with that, go ahead and turn the page. And on part C, it says complete each sentence with a word from the box. So we're going to look at the words here and plug them into the sentences. Number one says, Jesus wants us to obey God's blank. Does he want us to obey God's wrong, God's laws, God's sorry? Or God's forgive? Yeah, God's laws. So I'm going to write this word laws on the line. If you want to write it with me, it's L-A-W-S. Jesus wants us to obey God's laws. And then we can cross off laws because we're done with that one. All right. Number two says, sin is choosing to do what we know is blank. So remember, sin isn't just every bad thing we do. It's making a choice to do what we know is wrong. You got it. So when we choose to do what we know is wrong, that is sin. So for number two, we'll write wrong on the line. And wrong starts with that silent W. Remember, we were working on our WR digraphs. The last couple weeks, so we have wrong, W-R-O-N-G. So Jesus wants us to obey God's laws. Sin is choosing to do what we know is wrong. All right, two more to go. Zacchaeus was blank and began to help others. Remember, Zacchaeus was the tax collector, and he would cheat people. He would take more money than he was supposed to. But then he realized what he was doing was not okay. He realized it was wrong. And when he realized that, he said he was sorry. You got it. So go ahead and write sorry for number three. S-O-R-R-Y. 
Zacchaeus was sorry and began to help others. That means the last one's kind of a gimme, but let's make sure it makes sense. It says God is always ready to blank us, and our last choice is forgive. Absolutely, God is always ready to forgive. F O R G I V E. God is always ready to forgive. All right, and now down at the bottom, it says draw one way that you can live the golden rule. Remember, the golden rule is to treat people how you want to be treated. So in this box, draw yourself treating somebody how you want them to treat you. All right, do lots of details in it. Give it color. Remember, if you're six, you should have six colors or more. Seven, you should have seven colors or more. If you're 55, you should have 55 colors or more. Make sure that you're coloring it in nicely. And then make sure you go over this tonight because tomorrow... You'll be taking your test, okay? Bye, boys and girls.